This is so weird. I have not been on camera in such a long time. Ah! It feels weird! Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Yes, it is me. Estoy viva y estoy respirando. I just took a little break <laughs> because sometimes breaks are needed. But I am back and better than ever. And we are gonna go ahead and start this channel up with a makeup video. I kind of started debating as to what I wanted to go ahead and do. And we are gonna go ahead and do a little Euphoria makeup look. We are gonna go ahead and use these little gems. Which ones am I gonna use? I have no freaking idea. So we're gonna have to figure that out like throughout the video. We're gonna go ahead and start off this video and we're gonna go ahead and do the two little makeup looks with two different color schemes so you guys can go ahead and see a little different. So if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. The button is right there. Turn on your post notifications if you wanna go ahead and see whenever I upload another video, which I'm going to try to be consistent because I'm really bad at this. So let's get straight to the video on how to do these two little Euphoria makeup looks. So this is me, this is my naked face. This is no makeup, no nothing, literally like nada. There is nothing on my skin. But I do like kind of prepping my skin just to get it like a little bit started just so it won't be all weird and it won't be all dry because we do not like dry faces up in here. I'm just gonna go with my little toner. So now that I finished going ahead and toning up my little carita, I'm literally just gonna go in with, a, I think it's CeraVe. I think that's how you pronounce this, right? It's just a little lotion. I couldn't find the big lotion when I went shopping for it. So we're just gonna have a little bit and I like just put it on my face because I hate having a dry face. Okay, so now that we're done with a little toner and a little cremita on the face, go ahead and move on to the ojos because technically that's like the main look, you know? So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the eyes and as always, I always prime my eyeballs before I do anything and I always use the Fenty Beauty one. We just do one eye at a time. Just like that. Let's get this started. So we are gonna go ahead and do a little purple look right now. I'm actually using the Jaclyn Hill, the um, I think the volume two one, which I think it's like her most recent one, if I'm not mistaken. But honestly, I'm not quite sure. I think I got this one like last year around sometime. Start off with Perfectionist. It's kind of like a little like a nude, I think. I think it's like a little nude. Just like that. Start off with a color, it's called Therapy Session. It's kind of like a little purple. This one right here. Oh my god, it's pigmented out. Yeah. And I feel for this one, I'm just kind of gonna outline it, like pat it, and make it. Oh my god! And I'm just gonna make like a little shape. And I have an eye booger, which is definitely not something that you want. Something like that. So now that I made like the little like outline, we're gonna go in with the Morphe M456. Literally same color and just actually like go in there and make it pigmented. And it's okay, like see, as is mess up this one, you can always just grab like a little makeup wipey and just like wipe it off. Then we're gonna go in with the Morphe M433 brush and we're gonna go in with the one that says, not my journey. And it's like another purple color, but this one's like purple, purple. And for this one, I'm just gonna go over it. Like where I did the little line. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like a little bit more purple on this side. And so far, this is how it is looking. Literally gonna do one eye um, on camera and then the other one, I'm just gonna do it off camera. And I know my lighting is not the best, but I work with what I have. <laughs> so right now, I'm gonna grab the same brush that I grabbed the purple color in it and I'm just gonna flip it. And I'm gonna grab my setting spray and just spray a little bit to go in with another purple color. And this one's called A Moment and it's kind of, it's a little pretty purple one. 
And then for this one, I am just gonna put this one on my lid. Keep patting it on my eyelid. Go like this. And then I'm gonna grab my little makeup wipe just and then kind of just wipe that off. So it's just a little, a, a little line. And then we are debating which jewels we should use. I think for the purple, I feel like the little, like the little pearl ones were really stand out really pretty. We're just gonna place some kind of like Como lo tengo shaped así, lo quiero poner así también. So we're going to start off with that one. Oh, it looks so cute. So far, this is how we is looking. We is looking good. We are doing really good. So this is how one eye looks and I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye off camera and then I will come back and we will finish the whole face and finish the whole look because we still got another look to do. Okay, so now I am done with both eyes. I literally did the same thing, lo que hice aquí, lo hice aquí, so they are both the same. And now we are gonna go in and do the face. So I actually seen this one off of TikTok and when me and my, um, siblings we took a trip to Reno we, we like went to the Target over there and I seen it because I've been trying to get it here but it has not been anywhere so I finally got it and I actually really like it apparently it blurs your skin but I mean I've tried it it is good I like it especially me that I have like um somewhat like big pores it kind of sucks and I honestly don't know how you're supposed to work it if you're just supposed to work it like that. Yes, he said I'll that, but I usually just smear it into my face. I'm gonna go in with my foundation. Um, I'm using the Fit Me one. It's this one right here. This was in the shade 128, a warm nude. And we just go. Usually it falls off. I don't know if it's me, if I'm weird or something, but I usually grab like a makeup brush. <laughs> I like put the makeup brush in. And I literally just do this. We're gonna go in with our little beauty blender, or I think this one's a Morphe one, but I think they're the same thing, right? I think they're both considered the same thing. And then I pretty much just pat it all over your face. And with that, and then we're gonna go in with the concealer. Um, I use the e.l.f. one. Is it the same brand? No. That one is a Maybelline. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. And this is in light beige. And I just do it under my eyes because your girl bottle hit us for days. I'll work it under your eyes. Because you'll sabe that I have not gotten good sleep in a good while. We are done with that and then we are going to go in with a little KKW um, contour stick and just pretty much just do your little cheekbones. Luckily my mom gave me some decent cheekbones. And then I have trouble doing my nose but the more that I try, I try to perfect it. I'm gonna go ahead and use, ah! I'm gonna use my, my foundation one. Now that we are done with that, we are gonna go in with a little bronzy moment and we're gonna grab our Morphe E4 brush and literally just dab, dab, dab it in. It's kind of hard doing it because I'm trying to look at the camera because obviously like the lens is right here. But yeah, like the little um, screen está del otro lado. So I feel like I look all cross-eyed <laughs> for some weird reason. Go in with the Morphe E48 brush and with my setting powder, which is a Laura, let's see, I don't know what it's called. 
And then just kind of set the concealer under my eyes, smile lines, and just like pat it in everywhere. This is the way that I like doing it. Go in with our blush and we're gonna go in with the Morphe M405. And then this is literally like my go-to blush. I think I've done like maybe like a couple makeup videos in my channel and I usually say this is like my go-to. And it is the Warm Soul from MAC. I swear it's chef's kiss. Like you will not regret it. And then we're just gonna add a couple of blush. And then just a little bit on my nosies. Go in with some highlight. I hardly ever do highlight. I kind of try keeping my makeup. Oh, I try keeping my makeup a little bit more like on the matte side. But since this is a little euphoria look and we're going a little bit crazy, we're gonna go ahead with um I think this is in Princesa. This is a ColourPop Becky G collection, which honestly I don't even know if they still have it anymore. <laughs> but I still have um my highlight from there, and it's like a pretty I don't even know how to explain it. It's kind of like metallic -y in a way. Hopefully you guys can like see it. It's like boom, 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 boom. Highlight our cheeks, which I don't even think you can tell. Ooh, just kidding, I can tell now. Ooh, look at, oh my God, it's so pretty. It's so shiny. I still remember when everyone used to like highlight their nose. Yeah, you still you are doing the same thing. I realize like in Euphoria they have like a bunch of glitter everywhere and I'm just like, I don't have that much glitter here. Um, and I'm gonna go in, it's this little like, it's like kind of like a hot pink. I think I kind of want to put it like in the middle. Un poco, a ver que. I'm just gonna go in right here. It's not that much like a huge difference, but it gives it that little, that little pop. What if we wet the brush? Hmm. Wow! So this is the little eye look. I don't want to put more shimmer, but I feel like it's going to be a little bit too much. Okay, I have this little pink. It's like glittery. Ah, yeah, look it! Oh my god. And now that we are coming to an end with the first look, we're gonna go ahead and finish off with some lashes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hop off of here, do my hair, cause this is not, <laughs> this is not the real hair. And then I will hop on here and show you guys how it's done. So let me go ahead and put on my eyelashes and finish up my hair and then I will show you guys the little final look and then we're gonna get on to look number two. This is the final look for the little purple and the pearls which these are the pearls. So this is like the final look that I came up with using this color scheme. What do you guys think? What do you guys rate it? A one out of 10. It's not that bad. Just kidding, I really don't know. I am not a makeup guru, but I just thought it was like something fun to do, right? I thought this is gonna be this look and then we are gonna move on to look numero dos. Okay, so I took up my eye makeup. Um, as you guys can tell, my eyelids actually stained, but pienso por es, it's for the purple. I put up a little like poll on Instagram, right? Like to be like, oh, you know, what do you guys prefer? Like a cotton candy look. Um, I think I put a lime green look and then a dark blue look. And me personally, I love cotton candy. So I was like hoping that I was gonna get the most. And so far, I think that's where we're at. Let's double check. And I was kind of debating because I was like, dude, oh my god, what if they pick a different one? But it's just that I needed help trying to pick. And so far, cotton candy gets the most. We are at 35 for cotton candy. And the other ones aren't that high. So it's just like, why should I even mention it? I think I'm probably going to do, oh, I don't know. Like, should I do the pink on top or the blue on bottom? Just going to grab a little bit and just put a little bit on the crease. I'm going to go into my Jaclyn Hill palette and I am going to start off, I want to start off with the pink. Um, let's start off with Tipsy Girl. Mm -hmm. We love to get tipsy. Oh my god, no, this one is cute. And then this one, I'm just going to start off right here.
maybe a little bit. Start off with a little bit and just work it in. I think it's kind of working. I feel like it's coming out a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. Don't worry, we'll make this work. We'll put some glitter up in there or something. I think I know what I'm doing. I think so. Okay, so let's leave that at this is. And like, let's not touch it anymore. Porque si lo toco más, it's just gonna go. It's not gonna come out good. You guys are probably doing like really good to begin with. Like, para que lo estás tocando? I just realized that in the other look, I went ahead and I took a pause. And I was like, I'll be back once I'm done. And right now, I'm just like. Mm. Ah, I got my brush into a fucking black one. No! I think we might be getting some more, guys. Hold up. We love improvement here. I think we're okay with the eyes. Um, I honestly just feel like it looks a little bit awkward porque no tengo, I don't have anything. I don't have no eyelashes. I don't have like nothing on there. Okay, now for the fun part. We are done with the eyes. Said, I feel like it looks a little bit awkward because it's not like finished, like totally finished. Um, so we're still gonna go in with the gems and we still need some eyelashes and then just let the hair down and now just go with the flow. And if you just do it on the bottom this time, like put them all over. Wow! You know, I'm doing this under the eyes, but. Hubel! Hubel! Okay, so this is this final look. Um, obviously, it's a little bit different compared to Loki Santis because Loki Santis, it was literally just like oh, a little line. But this is this look. I I don't want it to look all weird. So for this one, I just put the little gems right here. And then I use the blue ones, que vinieron con este, that are literally exactly like these. I think this one just didn't come with these or some of those. But that's literally what I did. I tried sticking with the whole cotton candy theme. Did it go? Would I give it like a 10 out of 10? Hell no, you know? That's what I did. I just put the blue gems here and then these are like little blue ones and then I put little white rhinestones um, as like the little tiny ones like in the middle. Y luego puse nomás unos grandes acá arriba. It's literally the second look. So I did the first look which was the purple look which honestly I still feel like that was my favorite. I think it's just like the simple. It was like really simple, you know? Este está para acá, para acá y para allá. That is going to conclude my video for this week. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know which one of the looks was your favorite, which for me, I still had to stick with number one, which was the purple one. Make sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications if you want to be notified. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I will see you guys next week with a different video. Yes, with a different video because I am trying to be consistent from now on. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next week. Close